Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and in between episodes, I should say, I have done a little bit of work basically just placing radars along this entire corridor here so that we don't have to do that later. Uh, I do want to get to all of this fun stuff, uh, building rocket fuel in the assemblers and all that. Hopefully we can get that done maybe today. I don't know. We'll see, but we will start on the project. But in the meantime, I noticed that these guys don't even have productivity modules. It's very sad. So um, I'm just going to do a basic um, insertion of productivity modules and maybe put some beacons down in there as well. Let's see. We can keep one stack of those. Uh, let's get some beacons. Um, but otherwise, we're just going to kind of keep things as they are. Do I not have any modules? I don't have modules. Why do I not have modules? This is very odd. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I don't have any product. Well, I have some on me, but I, I thought I had loaded the train with productivity modules. That is very weird. Anyway, it's okay. We'll, we'll deal with it. It'll be fine. Um, but anyway, let's go and change these out for productivity and we can put a few, uh, beacons around here really just to get the speed back to, um, Wow, minus 80% is the limit here. That's kind of scary. Um, but we do want to actually hopefully get this stuff going. See how many we can put down. And it should be fine, I hope. Put these guys here. And then just fill them with our speed module threes. Just to get a little bit of speed on here. What have we got here? Oh, plus 260%. That should be fast enough, I hope. Um, it looks like we're not using a lot right now. Um, a lot of the steel, which is fascinating. It's kind of strange. Let's put these guys down here like this. Okay. And hopefully we might need to use, uh, yeah, substations instead of, uh, regular power poles there. Okay, that is working nicely. And hopefully our nanobots are going to fix this train up really quickly. Okay, plus 610% speed. That is quite nice. Okay, are we going to get this done? Hello? Fix, fix. Do I need to actually make a repair pack? You know what? Let's just take this train off to the next station so that we can put the productivity modules there too. And our bots can continue to repair this thing here. Our nanobots. There we are. And you know what? This is so funny because I, obviously I completely forgot about modules here. That's really strange to me that I did, but uh, that's okay. It happens. It's a thing. So, but, so I'll just try to put some here and there. Just kind of, uh, get rid of this power pole but that one will work mm, apparently I yep yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have it from the highway so that's 210 which is not too bad and maybe put a couple more speed beacons here there and one more there we go. That's quite nice. All right. And this one will have a total crafting speed of 400 plus 410%, uh, but with also 60% productivity. Kind of a good thing to have. I think that was part of our uh, quest that we didn't finish for ourselves, which was up here. The um, Beacon and module all smelters. Yeah, we didn't do that. And, and I guess I also meant all assembling machines, but it'll be fine. It'll be good. We're just going to take our train all the way to the end of the world as we know it. Um, and see what we can do with production over there. I'm really eager to start all of this stuff um, because that's going to give us directly uh, space science. Lots of scenery on the way. Lots of distance here, which is kind of fun in a way. I guess heading out into the middle of nowhere. But it is quite 
a ways from our main base. We're going all the way over here and our main base is here. So this is way, way, way far out from anything that we've built so far. But as long as we have uh, trains that will give us the throughput, we shouldn't really bother about it. If we look at our fuel, you can see we haven't really used that much fuel. Uh, more than enough for multiple trips back and forth. So as long as we have fueling at one of the stations, we should be fine. Oh, and you can see I've made some mistakes here and there with the, the placing of these uh, radar dishes. And we'll pick up the excess if there are more. I don't think there... I don't know if there are any more. There's a... Yeah. I didn't make too many mistakes, but some. Or I was trying to place them as I was going in the train, and it was, it was slow going. Uh, it took a few minutes to do that. But I don't think it was very exciting YouTube content, so I kind of skipped it. We know how to place radars. We're fine. All right. So let's figure out what we want to do also from the, uh, from the map. Um, and that way, I don't know if we should start from the beginning of the project or the end of the project. Uh, we will see. But let's just start here. All right. Let's start with... We might as well start with modules, I suppose. Do we have any speed... Be oh, you know what? I didn't take the extra speed modules out of the train. So I don't know if the, that other station had enough. Oh, no. Um here they miraculously did get enough i must have had exactly enough unless i'm just not seeing them we took 100 from the train nope that's it all right well we were just lucky then really lucky okay so this is going to be uh solid making rocket fuel so let's see what we can do about this here is the rocket fuel it needs 100 solid fuel okay can we add these to there yes we can good so this is going to make us some rocket fuel. Uh, and then we probably need our beacons around there as well. I wonder if it's worth it. Do we, did I save a thingy majingy for... No, of course not. Of course not. I did not save a blueprint for the beacon ring. Unless it's here somewhere. No, no, no. I don't think I did. Right. Well, it's a, it'll be fine. Uh, we can use the one here from Blue Circuits. No, we can't. Never mind. How about here? Nope, that's not complete either. Man, so many of these are not complete. <laughs> They're really weird. Um, batteries. Have you got a complete one? No! It's fine. Right. I think I will make a complete one. Here is one without with power poles. Let's just take this one and we're going to remove many things from it. Okay. Not those. Oh, wow. This has got halfway has level one modules. Well, then that is also extremely inconvenient. You know what? We can just do this. Yeah, go away. Can I get away this? Nope. No modules. Let's just copy this. Copy the ring and we'll place it round. There we are. That should be perfect. Okay. And I will place in the productivity modules. Come on. Place, place. Hello. Did I run out? Oh my god, I ran out. This is very silly. Nope, let's go get our train. Let's find the train. Let's go, go, go. Well, at the very least, we can set these things out and then fill it up when, whenever we get more beacons, if needed. Okay, good. We will copy these beacons here, or modules, I should say. Now then, um, we want to probably get... We can do these in the corners... Oh, that's perfect, actually, if we do them in the corner. Yes. Because in the corner, you don't put anything. And that is extremely handy. Um, we can connect them up later, I think. Because for many of these structures, you're going to have things going in and out. So I don't think that that's necessary, necessarily, to, to connect these guys. I guess we could put 
power poles like this on the outsides. Maybe that would be okay. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay. I just want to have a template that I can work with uh, in pieces here. So we're going to grab this whole thing. I'll just call it beacon ring. Okay. And I'll put that in my blueprint storage over there. Okay. So that we can access it later. That is good for that then. So this is going to need solid stuff coming in and uh, other things coming out. So we're going to need 100 solid fuel for every 10 rocket fuel. So we're going to need very few lines out compared to many lines in. And we'll calculate that a little bit later. Uh, not right now. Let's just put these beacon rings around the other areas. So this is going to be petroleum to solid fuel. That's fine. So let's get our production sorted out. Petroleum, there we go, to solid fuel. That's 1,000 petroleum to 50 solid fuel. Go ahead and put in our modules here, if we still have them. Yes, there they are, good. Aha, I almost thought I lost them. Um, okay, this is good there. And all the nanobots will figure it out. Good, very excellent. Okay, so now we have <sighs> slight conundrums. Do we pipe this oil along, which I'm really tempted to do, just pipe it from this area to, um, to these various things instead of having mountains of trains going everywhere? I think that's probably the best thing to do is just use pipes uh, along there and then otherwise use we could just like do major overkill on the pipes where we do one um one pump for every for every underground or maybe i think the limit is like 10 undergrounds uh, or 10 pieces of pipe to ground and then you're supposed to have a pump um that might work pretty well let's see we can get the pipe here on this side so if I do, that's two spaces. So I definitely need something like this. Uh, and I think I want here, I definitely want a storage tank here. Uh, and maybe we'll have like four storage tanks all together. Hmm, now I'm wondering if I should like use pumps to go between them. I think it would be fine if I did this this way and just used the piping along. Maybe we'll put the pipes in between the rails. That might be a f an okay idea unless we're going to have, well, we're going to have trains going in and out of here and here and here. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of trains going around. So it's probably best to put these pipes not there. I'm gonna grab, let's get rid of this one into there and then take this one out. What is that meant to be? Is this the outpost? Yeah, it looks like the, the upgraded outpost or something. Okay, so that's um, two, four, six, eight and 10. So this one needs to be a, a pump. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Okay. Now we have our, you know what? I'm going to take these out and put the pumps in there so that they work better. Where did they go? There they are. Aha. Did I already use all of them? I couldn't have used all of them. Surely not. No, there they are. That's weird that they showed up there in both places. Oh, well, typical, I think. Um, we need to have power poles, though, on the ends of these things, I think. And in the middle as well, like that. So this is going to be our new pattern of working. 
here for each section. Of course, I don't need the power pole there. That's fine. As long as it's near enough, it should be okay. And again here, we don't need that. But if it's going in the open, we definitely will need it. Okay, are we at the end of the line? We are. Okay, so here's the refinery and we're going to take stuff along with us. Okay, now uh -huh. we need to create... How do we want to do the second one? We could put it... The other one goes that direction. I guess we only need one more over here. So I could just grab this thing, put it on the other side of this, so that it also gets electricity from the same power pole, so we're not duplicating power poles. Okay, and I think that's what we need from here. And this one's going to go down. And I'm going to grab the original blueprint back. There we are, like this. Let's make sure the pumps are going in the right direction. There we go, that's what we want. So I think we'll take this thing. Just start off with a pump. This will go down here to this area. Okay, good. So that one goes down there. I don't know if we'll need multiple pipes. We might. If then, we'll just duplicate this whole thing again. Take this one to the right. To the left, I mean. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, this worked even better than I thought it would. Uh, we need... Excellent. Um, actually, though, we might want to hook it up to this one here. Or even better, probably that top corner one, I'm thinking. Like this one. Let's see how that works. Yep, and this connects. Very nice. So now we just need the outputs for this to run, uh, and then we should be all set. But we can s still keep hooking up the uh, the tanks and such for these uh, things, and then we'll build the train stations afterward. Okay. We're getting there. It'll be fine. All right, this has two inputs for this. Oh, that's right. Someone was suggesting... Ah, yes, I forgot about that part. Someone was suggesting that we should have a pump directly from the tank into the assembly machine. But I don't think that that's necessarily going to work very well, especially since we are piping at this other distance. I don't think that... Um, oh, we do need to have a pipe there, though. I mean, a pump there. Let's go walk over there real quick. Okay. Um, this one, because the, the, the limit of throughput is going to be this pipeline here. So I don't think it's worth it to have pump, 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 pump all the way to the storage tanks. Um, if it, I don't know if it's going to matter. I don't think it will, because like I said, the throughput limitation is the pipes. All right, let's go and do the other one. It's going to be light oil to solid fuel. All right, we already got it sorted. Uh, on that. So we'll do this whole this thing and get the pumps here, get our storage tanks. And again, we'll have the flow being through here. Let's 
get the ring. The ring of becomes. Oops, that's too far. Okay. That should work. Wow, and we're out of beacons. That's a surprise. Okay, we got our pumps, though. We'll just have to go back to the base and grab some beacons. This is kind of an extraordinarily heavy build on uh, this kind of stuff. All right, here is our heavy oil to light oil thingamajingy. Now this is a different one because it has um, product in, uh, liquid in and liquid out, which most of ours are having liquid in and solid fuel out. So we're going to have to grab a, uh -huh, a blueprint for this. Let's see, let's go up here. These. Not sure if we have engines or not in here yet. Oopsies. Wow. That's fast. Just slightly fast. We have a few pipes. We don't have much in the way of undergrounds, though. I'm looking for engines, but I don't see any. May have to just go back to the base. I think I have them on request. Do I not? I do not. Whoa, that's not good. All right, let's go and request them at the base. Ooh, artillery wagons. Tasty nice. Uh, of course, our artillery wagons are not that useful to us at the moment. We could use them for exploration. Um, however, there's no real biters to kill, so it's kind of a pointless thing. Okay, let's grab this and go forward a bit. See what we can accomplish. Hopefully something. That'll be good. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Here is our oil refinery. I think we decided, did we decide on this crude oil to these parts? I think so, since we got more light oil out of this. So let's put our stuff things over there. And we probably need to grab a, a blueprint for... Um, not quite the ring, but something like it. Oh, wow. I forgot to put radars around these things. Okay. Let's just put these around here. Wow. Okay. Pressing uh, up doesn't really work very well unless you're running. Let me just go out and run instead. Okay. Nope, do not think. Come on. Behave yourself. There we go. Much better. Okay. Did this not fit? Nope. There it is. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's better. This one can go there. Oh boy. Okay, that one can go there. We'll have a connecting one there and one over here-ish. Yeah, these only have one output each from for oil. So that is something that is going to have to be sort of organized. I wonder if we should have the inputs come from this side. I think we'll have the train stations here-ish. I think that would work, though having the outputs on the bottom would be most convenient. But, um, I think it'll be fine. There's nothing really horrible about this. Let's put them here. Um, one, two. I'll put them having a pump on the output here, just so that it gets things flowing along directly. Uh, and then they can stay possibly together like this. That's got to move. And we'll put it back. 
there instead. One tile isn't going to make that much of a difference. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's just fine. These are, oh, those actually should be covered as long as these substations are covered, which they're not at the present moment. So we just need to connect those and it should be okay. There we go. Okay, so now these guys are just fine. I want to, let's just get this going. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this is not working very well. Let's put it between the tracks. Okay. And then here is where we need to start really thinking about uh, these guys. All right, so let's count these guys again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these guys should actually have, that's ironic, uh, the pumps in between. Now, will they fit? That's the question. They have to be in the middle here. There we go. These can be connected with a pole there. That's nice. And then we'll get these guys connected properly over here. So the first one, let's just make sure. The first one here is petroleum, and that one goes to the far one, I believe. Yes, petroleum. Good. That will be just perfect being right there. And the next one is solid fuel. We know that. Or, I mean, not solid fuel, uh, light oil. So that one will connect up here. Come on trees, get out the way. There we go. Okay, so that one is all set to go in between. There's, uh, there's plenty of leeway here. Now the other thing is kind of diagonal. So I guess going down would be just fine for this. Uh, so let's go grab another blueprint for that. Um, or we could do this whole thing because we're going to have one coming up here like this, like that. Okay, so now we can just kind of take this whole thing to get... Actually, I don't... Do I really want it that close together, though? Probably not. Because if we want pumps to be here, we want to have the long-distance pull to be between them. Okay. We will change this slightly. We want to have it so that we have this long-distance pull between... Like that-ish, maybe? Let's see. Put this one here. Like that. Like that. Ish. Let's see if this one will go any further. Yes, it will. Okay, that's fine. And this one will connect going this way. There we are. Okay, and this is how we want to start this thing off. But we need to get our combo lines going. 
Yep, take this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we come up for air again, right here. We'll have our power pole, our those go that way. All right. And one in the middle. Okay. And we are set for a little bit. Go ahead and just copy and paste this entire area again. Take it down. Gonna need more pumps. We're running out. We only have one left. No. The sadness is real. Oh, but here is the thing that is also real. Okay. We can get these going approximately like this, maybe, since it's so close. And then one more. Boom. All right, and here we are, looking really good. So uh, I think this is a good place to stop. We do nef definitely need some stuff from the base. I think between episodes, I'll go back to the base, maybe fill up the train, maybe just, uh, and also get some of these, um, some engines to make more pumps and things like that. Um, but on, uh, on the whole, we are doing really well, I feel, with our factory. And this is going to be excited to finally get these um these refineries up and running and start making some cool stuff so thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time